Hi, in this video let's have a look at how we go about creating a colouring book with Affinity Publisher and you'll probably need Affinity Designer for the um, images but you may have those yourself but we can use this for print publishing using KDP templates. Now sourcing vector images. If you're going to use line art in this, vector images are a good way of starting. Now VectEasy, V-E-C-T-E-E-Z-Y dot com is a great location for free vector SVG images. To easily create excellent colouring patterns, we can use converted vector images, modified with Affinity Designer for use in our book publishing project with Affinity Publisher. I find vector images are best because it's relatively easy to just reduce even complex images to their simple outlines. After all, you only want the outlines. Now the trim size of the book. Selecting your colouring book size. Typically a colouring book is anywhere from 16 to 60 pages with black and white interior line art. So in this case we'll set the book to 40 pages. That's kind of a happy medium. When you're preparing the art for the interior and cover keep the following in mind. Line art, as in a colouring book, should be at least 300 dpi. If your interior is going to have bleeds and in the case of KDP and submission by PDF file you have to have bleeds. Be sure your art is large enough to accommodate a 0.125 bleed area. KDP as I mentioned require PDF submissions to use bleed. We assume your cover will print in colour so your cover artwork should be at least 300 dpi and must accommodate the same 0.125 inch or 1 8 of an inch bleed. Your cover will consist of a front, a spine and a back. So we're not doing a single page cover on this. It won't be a Kindle colouring book, <laughs> which is pretty useless if you think of it, because you won't be able to colour it in, you'll just be able to look at it. So this will be a print book. Now, what's our parts list? KDP cover template, we can download that from KDP. A KDP interior blank template. Now, you probably won't need this because it's so simple to make and publish it. But you can have a look at it if you want to see what they do because you might have other uh, types of books that you want to do this uh, setup type with. Obviously an interior template is slightly different than a cover template. You'll need 40 colouring images. If we do one per page, I mean you can have thousands if you like with lots of images on one page. Or you can have one image per page. I'm thinking of if you're doing a colouring book for the children. You only want, especially young children, you only want one image per page. Now, KDP and publisher preparation. Creating our publisher document is the steps we're following here. Now, the first thing you need to do is obtain the correct KDP template. And in this case, I've worked out my trim size, which is 8 by 10. The trim size being the size of the book once it's finished and on the shelf. If you take a ruler to it, you'll find it's 8 by 10. And you can see over the right hand side there, I've just got a little image cut out. Paperback cover templates from KDP, 8 by 10, 40 page count, paper colour white, download cover template. That's all on the KDP screen. It's too easy. Enter the numbers and download the zip file. Now it contains both a PNG and a PDF. They're both exactly the same and they're the correct size including bleeds I might add. So the KDP cover is exactly the size you need including bleeds. Now next open publisher and select new preset. Remember that including bleeds in the KDP cover? We've got to adjust for that in our preset. So you'll have to do a little math. 
Because you add the bleed boundaries in Publisher, your Publisher document must match the KDP template exactly, which already includes the bleeds. Now here's how you do it. It's not complex. You've just got to keep it in mind, otherwise you'll spend ages fiddling around with it and if you send the wrong thing to KDP, they will reject it. So a KDP cover template sizes 8x10 with 40 pages white paper. The template will download as soon as you click download cover template. And you can see the address down right at the bottom of the page there. It's quite easy, KDP, Amazon.com, um, English, US, cover templates. And there it is. Download them to your heart's content. There's lots of them there. Now, KDP cover template size matches publisher layout. Now this image may look reasonably complex, or it may not, but there's two things to look for in here. Your document size or preset layout will be the front plus the back plus the spine width by 10 inches height. Now that in this case you can see that orange bound or pinkish orange bound paperback book cover template I downloaded has a 0.09 inch spine width. It's very, there aren't many pages in it so it's got a very thin spine. You certainly won't be able to put any text on it. But 0.9 you've got to add it all the same. That's the layout of your document. Your bleed will be 0.125 on all sides. This will match the KDP template size of 16.34 by 10.25. That's the exact size of the KDP template, which is the top measurements plus bleed. Now why haven't we got it there? Because bleed is included when you set up the preset. You tick it on the bottom and we'll come to that momentarily. You can see the layout, the spread setup of the publisher document there in the image. The dimensions are 16.09 by 10. Hey, that's just what we've got up the top there. The paperback book cover template, you can see in the transform studio there, the width and the height is now 16.34 by 10.25. Those other two measurements. And you can see the little bounding box around that, the blue line with the blue dot. We need to be able to see that on the page. Now if you reduce its opacity, that's what it ends up with. So we've got 8 by 10 with 40 pages. The template is too thin for a spine, so there's no spine. A book of less than 100 physical pages, no spine text area is available. The bleed in Affinity, you add your bleed in the setup. KDP won't accept PDF submissions with no bleed. In setup, add bleed of 0.125 on all sides. Coming to that any moment. And here we are. Set up the cover. The cover based on the template. You've downloaded the template and you've observed these facts, but now we're going to actually create the preset. You select New, create a new document with the following specifications. You can start with an existing preset if you like and adjust it as necessary, because as soon as you enter the first adjusted number, any name that's at the top there where the plus sign is will change to Custom. Now your document size needs to be an 8 inch page by 2, there's a front and a back, plus the spine which is 0 .9, 0 0.09 I should say. So pages by 2 plus spine is 16.09 by 10 inches. And you can see that's exactly what you've got there in the layout in that image. 40 pages, manuscript size. You can change it obviously, but this one's set up um, for 40 pages. I might add that KDP appears to have about a 10 page rounding. It rounds up or rounds down. So you may have, you may be able to put 60 pages in and find you've got the same width spine. You may be able to put 30 pages 
in and find you've got the same width spine. Sometimes it changes and sometimes it doesn't, but it's always around 10 pages if it does any rounding. 300 dpi, CMYK colouring, margins all around of 0.5 and the bleed all around of 0 0.125. And you can see all those set settings there. That's the way it should be. That's your cover, remember, not the internal pages. This is the cover. It's one big page. And you'll see that in a moment. Set up your preset. Check your sizes carefully. And when you've got it ready, you'll see I've named that preset Coloring Book 2. And after that, it's not apparent. Cover. Covering Book 2, 40 pages. 1609, 10 inches, 30 dpi, embedded images, number of pages, one, no facing pages because there's only one. It does have a master page. The colour format CMYK, margins and bleed as specified. All good. Now, when it creates the document, it creates a master page and one page. Go to File, Place and locate the KDP cover that you downloaded, the KTP, KDP template. Add it to your Publisher Cover preset. Well, add it to the, you can add it to the master page, which is where I put it. And you can see it there. The opacity is set to 100%. But what I like to do is reduce that to about 22%, the opacity. And you can see the bleed lines and everything through that cover image then. So you know exactly where it is. And there's that image again. Check that all sizes are correct. Because that orangey coloured border around it has to come right out to the edge of the bleed. It's right on the bleed. It's not below it. It's on the bleed. Because you're now looking at the KDP cover template. Now let's set up the content. Of course you've saved that file. That's your cover template. In this, in this exercise I'm not designing the actual cover. I'll leave that up to you. Um, and there are other videos on designing covers for books. I've done those, oh, I think there might be a couple of those actually, somewhere back in the publisher video list. Now again, we're doing the content of your book, the 20 pages or 40 pages that go inside your book. You've got your cover, now you need your content. And KDP, if you're uploading to KDP, they require these two files. You can't put it all in one file. Now it's exactly the same as the cover. Well, almost. Because what we're dealing with here is single pages, not the huge cover spread that goes front spine back. We've just got to change some numbers. And this one, the custom preset name, I've called Colouring Book 2 Interior. Width of 8 inches, the height is 10 inches, number of pages 40, facing pages is ticked. Now the margins are slightly different here, 0.75 is the inner margin. That's because it's referred to as the gutter edge. So you need to push it out a little bit from the gutter so that your images, if you have them there, aren't lost in the gutter if the book is quite thick. With a, with a, a thin, perfect bound book it shouldn't matter. But it's always good form to keep that inner margin a little bit bitter, bigger sorry, than the outer margins, which are, as you can see, 0.5 of an inch. Now the bleed, the inner bleed, because it's in the spine of the book, you don't need to worry about bleed. Anything that's in there will be stapled. So it's zero. The other edges are 0 0.125 of an inch. And you can see all that clearly in the image on the right hand side there. Just follow those and create your document. Now this is what I was talking about before. You can place your KDP cover master into the master page 
master A and reduce its opacity to 22%, which is what I've got there, which is a good, a good percentage for being able to see what's happening. Now, if you look at your page, you can see the bleed mark is right around the edge, the blue line, right around the edge of that orange band. Your margins are well within the orange bands because anything in that orange band area will not get printed. It'll probably get cut off. But you can see there it is. There's your margins. There's your bleed. The pages look good and everything fits. When adding your images, just keep them within the margins and all will be well. So let's do that now. Let's add some content. Now you've collected your images, I hope. Collected all your images already in one place to just paste or place straight into your book. But add page one first. Page one is that separate one. Don't start your book with a colouring image. Start it with a nice fancy name. Now I've got, hmm, quite simply, my colouring book. You can call it what you like, but that first page should always be your title page. Now here's a clue. That title page, KDP sometimes rigidly enforce this, that first title page should be exactly the same as the title you use on your cover. So if I've got my colouring book there on the first page, on the cover, the front cover, the name of your book should be My Colouring Book and preferably the same font. So you've got front cover, my colouring book, first page flyleaf if you like, inside the book, my colouring book. It doesn't hurt to remember that because you may well be rejected if it's different. Now page 2 and 3, add a picture frame to page 2. This is the fun bit. You've got all your line art ready. There I've got page one, AF design, and you can see it's a couple of little cartoon animals. And I've placed them on page one. So you've got a picture frame and your page one. And because it's an AF design document I've put in there, it becomes an embedded document. I did not put a PNG file in there. You can if you like one or the other, it's up to you. They're easily changed. Now, next step, continue with image placement until all pages are populated. And I've got through to page six and seven there, and I've got a couple more images placed there. And you can see in the left hand column in the pages column, there's page two and three, four and five, six and seven. I won't go right through and do the whole lot because what I'm doing here is showing you how it's done. I'm not showing you the completed book. This is a template. Now publishing. I call this the really exciting part because when you've finished your colouring book, and I may end up doing this one completely and publishing it myself. Why not? Log into your KDP account. Take your time in the steps to publishing. It's very well done this process with KDP and in clear easy steps. You must preview your document when you get to that stage. This shows where any problems come up and you have to fix them before you can proceed. And that's just a couple of images of the things that come up. You upload your manuscript and upload your cover and it'll tell you when it's uploaded successfully and it will tell you when it's not quite yet uploaded. It will also say to you, in that case, document in review. And review can sometimes take over a week. So don't be impatient and start writing them letters. You can see there where I've got an arrow going down to it. If everything's uploaded and it's all accepted and you've filled in all the little details, it's fairly straightforward and you'll find a lot of the detail in a previous video that I've done on this same subject. And in review is listed there and you just wait for that and they will let you know in due course. So I hope you find this useful. It's quick and easy and the main part was showing you how to put line art 
into a book so you can create a nice little um, colour colouring in book. That's all for this exercise. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Really appreciate it.